Hello, I'm Bob Bauer. Look at these men. Now, see them 20 years later. What you're about to see are clips from two amazing videos. One is titled Men and Their Grief, in which 20 years ago, eight of these men sat in front of a camera and shared their stories of grief, following the death of a child, a spouse, a sibling, or a parent. The second video, called Men and Their Grief 20 Years Later, is a groundbreaking achievement in which six of these eight men reunite after 20 years to give us an update since the original video. As you watch these clips of the younger men and then see them 20 years later, I ask you to keep in mind the words of Andrea Gamble, former editor of Grief Digest magazine, who, after watching the videos, remarked, Give yourself the gift of inspiration as you watch and follow these never give up examples of hope and healing. Now let's hear from four of these men from DVD number one, followed by a clip from DVD number two, 20 years later. I know for myself, Kate and Daniel were dead. I went back to work three weeks after the funeral, but I was in no condition to really, really do my job. I mean, I kind of went through the motions. General manager come talk to me about my attitude, and it was just, it was unbelievable because uh, uh, the best thing someone could say to me is, if you want to talk, talk, call me, I'll be there. My son died in, in an accident, plane accident, and he fell off of a rope swing. I started to get a little more angry, and, and, and my anger, I was afraid of the anger because it was like a rage inside of me. I felt and she called me up to tell me that the devil had stolen my son, and I probably, do, I don't remember being any more upset with that. Only having troubles with those who are going to come up and say the same old cliche to us about how sorry they are, and they had their cat die, and they know. Uh, men and women, or at least husband and wife, grieve in a little different way. I wanted all of her toys to go to her friends. Her mother still has all of her toys. Sometimes people feel that if they give you something to do, that you need something to do, you, it'll take your mind off your grief. My wife was 30 years old, I was 31 years old, left with two children, one and two. I was then a single parent, changing diapers, doing housework. I had enough to And both boys then told me, you know, and Dad, don't feel guilty over this. You know, you and Mom did the best thing you could do, thinking you were getting the best technology at the time. And how, so, long, how long ago was that? Well, that, that you was asked him? 22 years ago. And how long ago did you ask them? This is last year. Last year. So, I mean, I've been holding on to this for 20-some years, feeling some guilt for just the procedure that we went through. The response to these videos has been heartwarming and gratifying. Men and women alike who wish to gain more insight into their own grief issues have used these videos. Professionals have used them in their training in helping men who come to them in the midst of their own grief. Support group leaders have used the videos by showing a short clip each week as a trigger for group discussion. The original 58-minute Men in Their Grief DVD and the follow-up 77-minute Men in Their Grief 20 Years Later DVD retail for $25 each. However, you can order these amazing videos in a two DVD set for $40. In these videos, you will see men discuss their grief then and now with honesty, clarity, and caring in ways perhaps you've never seen before. Thank you.